if you have a plastic part that is warping and the deformation are too big according to your specifications, you want to solve it to be able to send high quality products to the market. To be able to solve a problem, you have to find the root cause of what's causing the problem. And a way of doing that for a plastic part that is injection molded is using a flow how either with a Molex 3D software solution, we can provide you with that or with some consultancy support. Now I have a small example of uh, how you can dig into the root causes for a warped issue. This is a housing for an electronical device. I have a tunnel gate at the end here and uh, some simple cooling inside. I have made a simulation of the part and is now looking at the deformation and I can scale the deformation so it's easier to uh, for me to uh, see what's really happening. Okay, this is uh, scaled so we can see the walls are falling in and it's dripping a bit down here. So uh, what is causing the warpage problem? Of course I can start changing everything but if I don't know what to change it only costs me money. So um, with simulation I can dig into the results. The fiber orientation is that doing something bad for my part and we can see here the end that is uh, dripping uh, or standing up here as a hill is caused by the fiber orientation effect. If you want to change that you have to change the runner or oh, sorry the gate position or the flow pattern in the part. Another thing we can look at is the differential temperature effect and this tells us um, if uh, the cooling in the mold has any influence on the warpage and here we can see that the, the reason for the walls falling in is, uh, due, is due to the bad uh, cooling inside the, of the parts. So um, modifying the, the cooling here would uh, actually be able to, then we'll actually be able to uh, straighten out these walls. The last thing I would look at here is the differential shrinkage effect. This tells us if uh, there's anything uh, bad, uh, like uh, bad uh, packing conditions in, in the part that creates a high difference shrinkage. So um, in this case, we have quite uniform shrinkage around and there is shrinkage, but there will always be in a part. That's not the problem. The problem is, is if it's warping and it's not doing that in this case. So uh, at the end, the thing that I would uh, start fi fixing is the cooling in this mold. If you're interested in knowing more, please don't hesitate to contact us uh, at Flowhow. Have a nice day. Bye bye.